Hello, I'm Jane Marks, a tour guide in New York City, and I'm working with the Village Alliance in our new reality. And we're here wanting you to visit our neighborhood. I'll do it virtually, but you can do it literally. And today I'm suggesting number four, St. Mark's Place, known as the Hamilton Holly House, because Alexander Hamilton's widow lived there with her son and his wife and her daughter and her husband. And his last name was Holly. And we look at it today as a remnant of what was. It's being redone into a residential property with a commercial space on the first floor. But if we use our imagination, we can picture it as a row house built in 1831, matching the row houses on both sides of the street built by Thomas E. Davis. They were all brick in the federal style on a lot that was 26 feet wide that went back 100 feet. It was one foot wider than a traditional lot because he was competing with similar houses that were being sold on Bond Street and Washington Square North. And he was offering the buyer more bang for the buck. There were successive tenants, including one was a butter merchant, but what appeals to me the most were the small little theaters that hung out there in the 1950s, creating what Jerry Talmer, the theater editor at the fledgling Village Voice, called in the 1950s the downtown art scene to compete with the more established uptown art scene. And one of the shows in a theater in that building was a theater of the absurd, Jean Genet's The Maids. And Jerry Talmer sees it and says, it is of exquisite quality. Why can't we have an award for small productions where people make practically no money, but there's professionalism and a brilliant script? And he called them Obies. And the first person who won an Obi was Julie Bavezo in The Maid. But if the buildings could speak, I'd like to talk about trash in vaudeville, an avant-garde shop that you would go if you wanted, funky, punky, guffy clothing, and they originated these skinny black jeans, and they were the first outlet for Doc Martin boots which was the very symbol of rebellion, which went so well in the East Village. Trash and Vaudeville moved out in 2016, and it has another site on 7th Street. Here we are in the remnant of the counterculture that still wafts through the air, though we have gentrification. So come and visit our neighborhood, and you too can get in touch with your creative spirit.